Factsverse presents… The USS Constitution is a jaw-dropping 221 years old, and it's still sailing today. The USS Constitution, also known as Old Ironsides, is the oldest naval ship in the world to still be sailing the seas. The ship has three masts and a timber hull. The vessel was constructed in 1794 at the Boston, Massachusetts shipyard of a master carpenter, Edmund Hart. It was designed by Joshua Humphreys, who wanted the hull timbers to be 21 inches thick. He wanted the ship to be 204 feet from bow to stern and 43 feet across the beam. To build the ship, 60 acres of oak and pine had to be cut down. It took three years to build the USS Constitution, and she took her maiden voyage in 1797, just seven months after George Washington's second term as the President of the United States ended. He was the one who commissioned the ship's construction, and he was the one who gave her her name. The purpose of the USS Constitution was to combat the Barbary pirates who sailed out of North Africa, particularly Algiers. They were causing issues with the U.S. merchant shipping in the Mediterranean. In 1793 alone, the pirates took 11 United States ships. With the constant threat of pirates, ships didn't want to sail into the United States in fear of being captured. Since vessels coming to the port were essential for the people in the U.S. to get the goods they needed, something had to be done. George Washington was sure the USS Constitution would be the answer to their problems. Before the ship's construction was complete, the U.S. entered into a peace treaty with Algiers, and that meant that there was no need for the USS Constitution and the construction was halted. Although the ship was left unfinished, its story was not over. In 1812, the United States needed the USS Constitution again. During the war with the Brits, the U.S. needed a strong ship. Under the command of Commodore Isaac Hull, the ship managed to defeat and destroy the British ship HMS Guerrero after a fierce battle in August of 1812. In December of the same year, the ship attacked and destroyed another British warship, the HMS Java. After these two battles, the USS Constitution earned a reputation of being a formidable fighting ship. The USS Constitution spent some quiet time sailing the Mediterranean, the Atlantic, and the Pacific Ocean through the 19th century. In 1857, that changed. She started being used as a training vessel. During the 20th century, she came close to being used for target practice, but the plans changed. The United States officials believed she was too important and she was saved. So where is she today? Well, you'd think that after all these years, the USS Constitution would just be a heap of lumber somewhere or completely destroyed. You might also believe that it stands in a war museum somewhere in the United States, but neither of those are true. The USS Constitution is still sailing today. The USS Constitution is still seaworthy. She's on the water in Boston Harbor at one long wharf. She no longer fires her cannons, however, they are still intact. Tourists can visit the ship and take a tour to see what old Ironside looks like up close. The 45-minute tour is extremely informative and it's followed by a cruise of the harbor. On the cruise, you'll disembark for a tour of the ship and the adjacent Naval Museum. You'll also visit Bunker Hill Monument, the site of the Boston Tea Party, and the Old North Church. A new tour begins every hour, which allows you to take the tour at your convenience. The ship's galley that was once used to feed members of the United States Navy is now open to the public. During your trip, you can enjoy breakfast, lunch, snacks, and beverages. Due to the age of the ship and her frequent use over the years, she has to be restored in order for the tours to stay safe. The restoration work included replacing 100 of the hull planks and installing 2,200 new copper sheets. The entire restoration took two and a half years. For a while, the ship spent some time in dry dock. When the tours were scheduled to begin, captains were needed to sail the ship. Today, you can get authentic naval experience because the ship's crew members are all active duty sailors. The ship's history is awe-inspiring, and it remains an essential part of the U.S. today. If George Washington were still around today, I'm sure he'd be proud to be the one who commissioned the ship's construction hundreds of years ago. Subscribe for more!